Hello all, this is Sibi Abraham, CEO of Mentorcraft Solutions Private Limited. This tutorial is exclusively for teachers explaining how to conduct online classes through Google Classroom. Google Classroom is an ingenious application from Google covering all the aspects of online teaching and learning. Google Classroom is the platform where the teacher performs all the regular communication with the students, ranging from casual talks to assignments and online examinations. Google Meet and Google Drive are the two essential applications from Google associating with Google Classroom in this process. Google Meet is a video conferencing application. If you want to conduct a live lesson, you need to use the Google Meet. Google Drive helps you to store all the files related to your classroom, which includes pre-recorded sessions, recordings of the live Google Meet sessions for later use, notes by the teacher, and homeworks and assignments from the students. All these applications are available with your personal Gmail account. This can be accessed via your desktop computer, laptop, or the mobile device. You need to have an internet connection. That's all you need. But this time, I'm going to show you how to access these applications using your school email IDs. Your school mail IDs are created in G Suite, which is a great package from Google, which is also free for schools. How exciting. So let's sign into the Google Classroom using your school mail IDs. Here we are using a desktop or a laptop to sign into the Google Classroom. Let's open up a browser. It could be Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, or Edge. But I strongly recommend to use Google Chrome if you are planning to access Google Classroom on a desktop or a laptop device. Because Google Chrome offers plenty of add-ons to use with Google applications. First of all, I will take you to the school mail inbox, which will look exactly like a Gmail inbox because your mail is provided by the Google using a G Suite account. In order to do that, just type in gmail.com. I have typed in gmail.com and then press enter. On the next screen, you will have the option to sign in on the top right hand corner. Click sign in. Then type in your school email address. Teacher at mentorcrafts.com is a sample email address I'm using for this purpose. Then click next. Here you will be asked for the password given by the school. Type in your password. I have typed in my password. If I want to see my password in text mode, I just need to click on the show password button right here. I checked it, it's all right. So click the next button. On the next screen, you will be asked to accept some agreements from Google. And this is only for the first time you log in. Click accept. On the next screen, you will be asked to create a new password for your account. Because the last password might given by the school and you need to make your own password. So type in your new password on the create password field. Re-enter your password in the confirm password field. Then click on change password. Now you are in your inbox, which looks exactly like your personal Gmail inbox. The only difference is that you can see a G Suite logo on the right hand corner. To go to your Google Classroom, click on the nine dots on the top right hand corner of your screen. Click on the Google Classroom icon. Your Google Classroom will be opened on another tab. Click continue from the screen. Then you'll be asked to pick your role. So here I am a teacher. So click on I am a teacher. Now you are in your Google Classroom. Students also should follow the same procedure to get into their Google Classroom, except they need to pick their role as student from the last screen. Here, as a teacher, what you need to do is you need to create your own classes. Imagine I'm a teacher who teaches English in classes 5A, 6B, and 7C. I need to go to these three classes physically to teach there in offline mode. Similarly, in Google Classroom, you need to create these three classes. To create a class, you need to click on the 
plus sign on the top right hand corner of your screen and select create class create class option is only available for teachers in a G Suite environment according to the school settings for students they have only the option to join a classroom on this create class window you just need to type in your class name this is my 5a English class then select the subject I have selected the subject as English when you create a class make sure the class name and subject name is given in the class name field only the class name field is mandatory rest of the fields are not you don't need to fill the section and the row fields then click create now you are inside your 5a english class you just created there you can see a couple of help notification uh, in the first login inside your classroom you can see four tabs stream classwork people grades the grades tab is not visible in the mobile application and also you can see we are in the screen tab now where all the communications will be displayed and this class gives you the class name class code and the generate meet link you can change the artwork on this header by selecting a different theme here you have the option to select your artwork based on the subject since my subject is English I'm going to select another artwork for English by clicking on the English and history tab and selecting this picture looks nice for me so select class thing now the artwork has changed based on my selection and if you wish to check upload your own photographs your own artworks you can choose this option upload photo option to upload your own photographs now let's look at the class code class code is a unique code generated with each classroom which enables students to join to this classroom using this class code if you click on the box next to the class code it will zoom in you can copy and paste it in any platform such as whatsapp groups or gmail to send it out to students who needs to join in this particular classroom another way to invite students to this particular classroom is click on the people tab there you can see your name as a teacher since you created this classroom and there is no students in this classroom because nobody has joined yet from this page if you click on the invite students button you will be asked to enter the email address of each student so that you can send an invitation to each student in their mail IDs. The mail IDs of the students must also be the school mail IDs, not their personal mail IDs. I have typed in one student mail ID here, which is student.mentorcrafts.com, and I can send an invitation by clicking the invite button here. Now you can see the student name with the invited flag there. Once the student accepts the invitation, he joins the class. Let's go back to the stream. Let's see what's the meet link option. The meet link is nothing but the link to join a live class conducted by the teacher. The teacher needs to generate the meet link and make it visible so that students in this particular classroom can see the link and click on the link to join that live session. The teacher needs to generate the meet link as per the live class schedule. If I have a live session now, what I need to do is click on the generate meet link. Then you have the option to generate meet link. And make sure it is visible to students. And then save. Now the meet link has been generated and it is visible to all the students in this classroom. They just need to click on this link to join the live class. I will explain more about meet link and its settings on my next video. Now let's go to the classwork tab, where you will be able to give classworks such as class materials, assignments, quizzes.
to students. Also, you will be able to see the response from students on a particular assignment on this page. My upcoming videos will explain you how to create assignments and assign to students. And on the grades tab, you will be able to see the grades for your assignments, classworks, quizzes, and exams. Right now, I'm inside my five-day English classroom. I need to create my rest of the classrooms, such as 6b e and 7c to do that you need to get out of this classroom to do that click on the three bars on the left hand side which is the main menu and click on classes now i'm outside the 5a english classroom but i can see the classroom from outside now i'm going to create my rest of the classes like i did last time now i have created my three classrooms and i can enter into each classroom by clicking on it on the next video, I will show you how to make different communications through Google Classroom. And thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to get more related videos. Thank you.